Hey everybody, Roger Levin here with your orthodontic production pearl of the week. So we're gonna to talk today about delegation and I wanna share with you exactly how not to delegate because there's endless literature and articles and blogs and education in business schools about why delegation fails. So maybe I'll just name this pearl, why delegation fails. And the answer is we just don't do it properly. Like most things, it's pretty simple to understand what went wrong if you sit back and you take a good objective look at it. Reason number one, we delegate to a person that doesn't have the capability. Now we don't always know that, but if we just delegate and then ignore or abdicate, we won't know the person can't do the job till the problem shows up in a much bigger way later, and then we pay a price if we ever figure it out at all. Number two, we delegate without explaining the expected result. What result do we want? What is this delegation supposed to result in? And very often a person will say to you when you say, What's going wrong here? We're not getting these results. Well, I did what you told me. And they did, because you never told them what the result should look like. And anytime you can put a measurement on it, that helps people a lot. Number three, you delegate, but it's what I call murky. They kind of understand it, and then they go off and try to do it, but it doesn't quite work out, or it doesn't work out at all. And the reason is because you gave them a murky explanation. They kind of got it. You assume they understood it. You assume they had enough background and knowledge to grasp it, but they didn't. Number four reason why delegation fails. We delegate and we don't give the person a chance to ask questions. Very often, if they ask one or two or three questions, they get all the information and clarification that they need to do a great job. Now, why is delegation important? It increases orthodontic practice efficiency, speed, and volume. The better you delegate, the more patients you can see per day. And yes, there is in each individual practice a mathematical formula that if we delegate these four things, for example, let's say there are four things, and we save the doctor, the orthodontist, this much time, we can see two more patients a day, or do one more consult a day, or fit in one more emergency, broken brown it, whatever it is, a day. Always be working on what else can I delegate. You want to maximize delegation as an excellent business principle in the orthodontic practice. As always, I wish you increased practice production and referrals every year, and I'll see you next week.